Day there triathlon fans, Ryan here, at triathlon.com. Doing a quick little Facebook Live while I've uh, got my kids at a volleyball camp. Uh, make sure you guys get the most latest and updated tips. So hopefully you can hear me all scoot in nice and tight to the camera. So we're talking about Race Expo. <clears throat> so specifically, you know, what are you supposed to do with your time? And Race Expo can be kind of an overwhelming situation, especially the Ironman races and events. Plenty of vendors, large area to cover, a lot of stuff going on. So um, kind of the best practices and kind of be the most efficient you possibly can. And if you get there early, you got plenty of time to wander around. That's great. Uh, plan for that. Just be careful. You know, if it's warm or hot or something like that, don't get overheated or anything and wandering around at Expo. Um, first and foremost, get checked in. You know, that's the main reason for Expo. Come in, get checked in, get your stuff, give everything you need. Just make sure you do it. While you're checking, make sure you're getting all your stuff. Make sure you get your <coughs> chip, your swim cap, uh, any uh, other identifiers, check in time for your bike. Uh, the swag, get the shirt, get the backpack, get everything they've got, make sure if you're doing a full Ironman, you're getting all the transition bags and all that kind of stuff, all you do bags. So make sure you get everything and check it. Don't forget anything. I would suggest doing a little preemptive uh, on the race site, go and check to see who the vendors are, to see maybe if there's somebody out there you want to visit that you don't know about, so you don't necessarily need to wander around and, and maybe miss out on uh, some vendors that are there. So check out the race site. Usually they'll have your vendors listed up there will be there. Uh, so that's another tip. So always, always check the rest of it. And, and usually Iron Man is pretty good about that. They list all their vendors and stuff. Um, <clears throat> a lot of us nowadays have partners, sponsors, or whatever, or we're part of clubs or anything like Suit or Quintana um, Bikes. Uh, they're with my club. So just see if they're going to be, have a booth there. They're, they are, you know, a Rudy Project, uh, Sir Wetsuits, whoever, stop by the booth, Picky Bars, whoever, whoever you're working with, stop by their booth and chat them up, check them out, and, and you know, post on social media and stuff like that. That's always a good opportunity. Uh, so check out your sponsors. Um, get the gear. <clears throat> so, you know, if, if uh, you want that Ironman shirt and you see an awesome Ironman hat in Ironman Village, you better get it right there on the spot. You can always probably like sell them on the Facebook page later, but don't wait to buy the gear because it goes fast, uh, especially as events are opening back up and everybody wants their swag. Everybody wants to, you know, highlight what they've done. So make sure that you get what you want fast, soon, and early because it's going to be gone quick. So get the, get the gear that you want. Um, did you bring everything for the race? get to your hotel or whatever, did you get to town and you're like, oh, I forgot a CO2, I forgot a spare tube, I forgot this, that, and the other, I forgot nutrition. Odds are, you know, I've posted several pictures of Expos, especially Ironman races. They've got uh, Play Try, I think it's Ironman's partner this year. They've got everything you need. They've got bike mechanics. Um, there's wetsuit. You basically could outfit yourself an entire race game from running uh, you could probably even buy a bike there, you know, if Quintana's there or Bentham Bikes or somebody. You can almost buy everything you need for the race there. Wet suits, speed suits, helmets, shoes, socks, clothes, kits, whatever. You can buy it all at Expo. So just make sure you <coughs> check the packing list, make sure everything made it. If it didn't, you can grab it there at Expo. So we covered that. That's uh, the gear that you missed at Expo. Uh, review the course maps. So a lot of races will have. Uh, the course map blown up and put on display. So just check them one more time versus the site. You never know, there could have been some quick changes that just didn't make it to the website. Always review the course maps and see what's going on. So that's uh, one important thing. Uh, check in if you're VIP, if you paid for the VIP package for Ironman races or any other event that was doing it, make sure you check in and get your credentials because then uh, it's kind of a waste an opportunity to waste your money if you don't check in and get your credentials for VIP check in. Um, usually they have an info tit, so if questions need answered, you can't make it for an athlete briefing, uh, you still have questions that are unanswered about the event, go to the info tent, and more than likely they will be able to help you out with any kind of questions you got or at least direct you in the right path. So always check out the info tent if you've got any last minute questions. Athlete briefing. Try to hit an athlete briefing, especially Ironman races. They've got probably two to three days of briefings. Um, and, and now they're doing a virtual and posting it on Facebook pages, so there's no real reason not to see, listen to an athlete briefing. Answers a lot of questions, especially as you get further on and deeper in, they answer more and more questions that they've had at other briefings, so make sure you're there for a briefing. And then if you're a first-timer, like, we'll probably get back to this. I'm uh, uh, 
know, uh, Ironman University certified coach, working specifically with first timers at the Ironman distance. So we used to do our own separate briefings. So make sure you just keep an eye out for that if you start doing that again. And then, last but not least, you know, hopefully you do have a little bit more time to actually walk around and check out all the vendors that are there. You know, they, they have to pay money to have a spot there. So they want your eyes on their products. And some are gimmicky, and, and, and there is what it is. And some are fun, and some are doing giveaways. Um, I do will recommend, if you find a vendor that's giving away water bottles, grab water bottles, because they're great, because you can use them as disposable water bottles. Um, maybe, because I get event water bottles, and then you get it messed up, or you don't want to throw them away. So that's always a nice one if you're going around checking out vendors. See if they got, you know, if they're giving away water bottles, you can use those as your uh, throwaways on the bike because uh, you definitely do not want to throw away your event water bottle if you bought it and put it on your bike for race day and something comes up. So, this that's the last thing, it's just soak it in, walk around the event expo. You know, if, if it's getting warm or anything like that, just make sure you pay attention, you don't, you know, overdo it and get overheated or anything like that. But take your time, make sure you give yourself plenty of time to come through and go through the expo and check out anybody. And, especially like all the tips before, um, and just soak it all in. Um, sometimes you only get maybe do it once a year, so something important, or maybe it's a one-time deal, so soak it in. So that's basically my tips for Race Expo, so hopefully this came across okay, as I'm doing this in the background of one of my kids' uh, volleyball camps. Uh, just want to get this tip out there this for you this week. So if you see this on Facebook, give it a like. If you see it on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. Uh, put a comment in there if you have any suggestions or anything I missed or anything like that. And with that, happy racing out there, and we'll see you at the finish line.